Hello everyone, welcome to another section of Schneider Electric PSC training tutorials where you will learn Schneider Electric PSC programming. Okay, so for the first case, this is the, the exercise. And the exercise says that we should design the two input as OB such that the output is true only when one of the inputs is true. This is a truth table. So the output is true only when one of the inputs, okay, only if one of the inputs is true, which means that when both of them are true or when both of them are true, it is off, and when both of them are off, it is off as well. And this is the ladder logic for, for that program. If you are to hardwire it, this is going to be the, the circuit for the hardwire. Okay? So this is going to be the circuit. So you have two contacts, which A and B, which has been wired to input 0 and input 1, and our output is wired at input 0. Okay, so this is the X, XOR operation and in this XO operation you know that okay, so if we begin with the first you see that when a is zero b is when a is off b is off the output is off because if a is off a will not allow the flow of and this wrong will not be true and when when this branch this branch will not be true and when b is also off then this branch will not be true so a will allow the b will prevent it why for the first branch a will not even allow it even though b will even though b will allow allow it in the second case now a is off so when a is off for the first branch and b is on you realize that a will not allow it b will, b2 will come in to prevent it because it becomes now like a normally open contact like that and for the second branch we are still here a is off so a will allow it and now b is on so b will become something like that so b is going to allow it also and this wrong becomes true and the output is is on and for the third case for the third case a is now on and when a is on then a becomes like that and b is off so a will allow the flow of logic b will also allow the flow of logic and then we are going to have a logic at our output and x becomes becomes on and for the last case they are all on and when they are on then a becomes a becomes this so for the last case a is now on if a is on then a becomes this here while this corresponding a address becomes this and b is also on so b becomes this which is now closed and this b becomes like this so logic will flow from here to here and will become stuck here so it will not reach the output why right here the logic will just be stuck at this point at this point and it will never reach the output and as a result our output will always stay will always stay off okay now let's see how we can you can simulate this in our software environment so i'll start by configuring my outputs i will drop my digital inputs then i'll drop my digital outputs i'll now configure them So I have two input A and B. So what does it say? Okay. B. And then I'll go to my output as well. I have one output which is X. Okay. I'll just close this, then I'll create my project under programs. So I'll be giving it ladder, so I'll call it example. It's another program. And I'm just going to construct it so I will drop 
a normally open contact I'll drop a normally closed contact and we drop a coil so you can choose where to place the coil and just shift it a little bit next I will drop a normally normally closed contact and then a normally open contact and I will pick the horizontal line I'll pick the vertical line so I'll give this address A I'll give this address B okay, I'll give this A and then I'll give this B And I'll give my output X. Okay, so we have constructed a circuit. I'll build a circuit. Analyze the circuit first to check for bugs. Then I'll build it. Then I'll put my PLC on the simulation mode we are using here. Virtual PLC. Then I'll connect my PLC. My PLC is connecting, then I will download my project to my PLC, I will run after download. Okay, my PLC is going to the run mode, so do you want to confirm one mode, yes. Okay. So this is what I was saying. So I'll just go back here. So the first case, they are all off, but before then, let's go to the first hour. First of all, generate the animation table. So we'll click initialize animation table. Um, we now have an animation table here. I'll arrange my windows. I can close some of these windows and bring this here. So I can zoom this out so that it becomes a little bit visible. Okay, so this is our animation table we are going to go to. The first case, I've already explained how to manipulate animation table in, in an earlier tutorial. Okay, so the first case that we want to see is that both of them are zero. So when both of them are zero, you can clearly see our output is zero. And when, when A is off and B is on, so A is off and B is on, so we are going to set B to on state. You see, our output is one, so this part becomes two. Okay, our output is one, and we are going to push it back to zero. Now, when B is on and A is and A is when B is off and A is on, so I'll take A now to logic high. You can see. Our output is still still high. Okay, so I'll send it back to zero. So our output goes to zero. And when both of them are high high, so I'll push A to high and then I'll push B to high as well. Okay, see our output goes to zero. Our output goes to the zero state. Okay. So that is what they wanted us to implement and we have we have done that. Okay, so the precise tool says that design a two input XNOR gate such that 
the output is true if and only if both of the two inputs have the same state. Okay, so this is a true table. Both of the inputs have the same state means that when they are all 0, 0, the output is on, and when they are all 1, 1, the output is on. And when they have when the two states, when the two inputs have different states, then the, the output is zero. That is an x nor x nor operation. And in this case, we are saying that if A is, for example, if A is is off and B is off, so A is off, like now A is off and B is off, then this a will allow the flow of logic, B will allow the flow of logic, and X becomes, becomes on. Okay? So there is a logic one here, which will pass through this logic. Okay, so this, the next operation says that, the next operation says that A is off and B is on. So A is off, B is on. So if A is off and B is on, then B is on means this B contact becomes closed and this B contact becomes open. So in that case, A is off. So there will be no flow of logic here. A is going to prevent it from passing through from this point. And for the second branch, A will allow it that this B is open. So this logic will be stopped here and the output is, and the output is zero. And similarly, if A is on and B is, is off. So in this case, A is on, like that, and B is off. Okay, so and B is, B is off. So if B is off, then we'll have something like that. So what happens is A becomes closed, B is off, the logic will come and stay here, waiting for B to get closed. And A is uh, A is is on, and since A is on, then A becomes like that. And because A is now open, the logic will be will be stopped here. The logic will not go through, even though B is closed, waiting for the logic to come and pass through. And finally, when they are all on on, and if they are both on on, then A is on, B also becomes on here and at this point b is off also so this branch will be the branch that will become true so logic will flow through the first through the first branch okay so i hope that makes sense all right so let's see how we can implement it on the on our software in our software okay. so i will just have to modify i will just modify this logic by putting replacing this with a normally open contact you ask me do you want to confirm modification i say yes yes and i will place a normally close contact here also yes okay so now we have our logic i'm just going to build it accept okay so it's directly on the wrong mode Okay, so you can clearly see, if I go back to the animation table, you can clearly see that A and B, they are both, okay, A and B, okay, this is from the previous logic, let me push all of them down, down. Okay, so you can clearly see that A is off, B is off, which is the first, which is the first case, A is off, B is off, and in that case, this logic becomes true so they are all off then this logic becomes true our output is one if a is if a is now off and b is on so b is on a is off the logic goes false okay and when b is off and a is on you see the logic also goes goes false and finally when both of them are on on then you see the logic goes through. So we have successfully developed the yeah, XNOR logic that will allow the flow of logic only when both inputs have the same the same states. Okay. Okay, so let's review what we have learned in this lesson. 
So congratulations, you have now understood that normally open contact is closed when the assigned bit value equals to 1 or on. Normally closed contact is closed when the assigned bit variable equals 0 or off. If there is a power flow from an output call, then the output bit is set to 1. And if there is a power flow to an inverted output call, then the output bit is equal to, to 0. All right, okay, so this marks the end of this, this lesson. And please, if you have any doubt regarding the lesson, put it in the comment section below and I will review it. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumb up. And if you think that there are some aspect of this video that needs improvement, please also mention it in the comment section below. And do well to share this video and subscribe so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.